survive, but it thrives in today's divided and pseudo post-racial society. It lives on in the space between our communities. It wedges itself in between our hearts, turning us against each other. We see this now in the heartbreaking aftermath of the Ferguson grand jury's decision. All I want to say is I'm black and I'm proud. Teach them. If you know some children who live in your community, 
about here. If we protest courageously and yet with dignity and the love of God in our heart, when the history books are written in the future, somebody will have to say, there lived a race of people, of black people, of white people, of people who had the moral courage to stand up for their rights, and thereby they injected a new meaning into the veins of history and civilization. So I say to you today, my brothers and sisters, I just want to do God's will. He's allowed me to go to the mountains, and I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I might not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we, as a people, will get to the promised land.